Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is the Daily Tarot for Wednesday the 13th of October 2021. I've shuffled so I will cut. This is a major arcana reading. Strength again. I shuffle. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hierophant in the reverse today. Same position within the upright yesterday. And temperance again. Okay, this is a real continuation from yesterday's reading where we had justice and the hierophant and I think it was the hanged man. So we still have this very, very contained feeling about this. Um, and self-control, self-mastery, and peace. I sound so shocked. Peace within ourselves, certainly um, indicated by these two cards here. Um, the strength card, the force of adult, mature civilization. Um, I'm called to, what, what's called to mind today for me is the model, the psychoanalytic model of the adult, sorry, the parent, the adult and the child. Um, I think that's the Jungian model, which corresponds with the Freudian model of um, the superego, the ego and the id. So we have this <coughs> parent, excuse me, parent stroke superego figure which is like the enforcer that exists within all of us. The, you shouldn't do this, you have to do that, they should do this, they should do that, etc. That whole should, must kind of energy. Then we have um, the adult, or um, in the Freudian model, the ego, which is simply the, um, the person themselves going about their business in the world, um, giving and taking. I guess, to, to varying degrees. And then we have the id, or the child, who is unreasonable, untamed, untrammeled, unbounded, and wants what it wants, and wants it now, and will scream the place down, <coughs> excuse me, if it doesn't get what it wants right now. That's the lion, okay? What we have here, oh dear, excuse me. <coughs> what we have here in this card is this force that exists within all, within all of us, this sort of stampy footy, but you know, why? Why not? Why can't I have what I want? Why is it like this? And this lady here is basically getting to grips with it and just saying, look, behave, behave, have a word with yourself because you cannot ride roughshod over the world. You can't buck the system. You can't buck the market. That's what I'm getting here from this card today. And the temperance card, very, very peaceful, very um, fluid this way, fluid that way, fluid this way, fluid that way. Tide goes up, tide goes down. Summer goes to autumn, goes to winter, goes to spring. It's this endless cyclical movement here just being watched very very quietly and very meditatively contemplatively here it, it's it is it's very peaceful it's very still it's nice I, well, I like this energy not everybody would like this but i certainly do sitting in the middle here we have the hierophant in reverse Yesterday, as I say, the Hierophant was in this position, this middle position, in the upright. The Hierophant, the force of um, the social and public application of the moral code. The politicisation of morality, if you like. And um, hmm, it's gone from the upright <laughs> to the reverse today. So something is working itself through, something to do with collective systems of good and not good behaviour is working itself through. And while it's doing that, 
there is an invitation here to not react, to not growl and bare our teeth in, in response to stuff, to just watch, just watch. And I guess not get caught up in the ebb and the flow. Because, you know, when the tide's going out, it can feel, depending on our sort of sense of, of scale, I guess, it can feel like it's always going in that direction. The wise person knows that nothing is permanent, but what goes up must come down, okay? Um, and what comes around goes around. Uh, whew, maybe that's the message of this reading, especially in the context of this shift from the matter of um, this public application of morality and where our place is within that. You know, this is not a, an individual energy, this is a collective energy. Um, you know, perhaps there is some kind of rather swift <laughs> changing of what development of events dear friends events maybe that's what it is um but we would do well we would do well to not get caught up in this and to stay on the outside with a firm grip on our own reactions and just watch it cycle itself through. I'm going to put another one. Wow, again, we've had this combination so much. Temperance and a star. And the last time they came up together, I think they it was like this with temperance in the upright, star in the reverse. And I will say the same thing. It is not the time to let it all hang out. It's not the time for that. It's not the time to be gushing. It's not the time to be pouring of ourselves into the source of ourselves. Um, we need to keep it small because in a way, what's happening here in the temperance card is the same thing as what's happening here in the star card. It's just here the scale is much bigger. Because here we have this containment within the two vessels. Here the two vessels are being poured, but they're being poured into the source, which will then exit into the ocean, which will then be evaporated into the cloud, which will float over the land and release that fluid as rain back into the water course, and it will go round and round again. So it's the same thing, it's just a bigger scale. Keep it small, keep it small. When stuff like this is going on, it's probably a good idea. Yep, hermit. Okay, yeah, retreat, just quiet, calmos, just keep it quiet. Um, it is the artwork of this deck, but we have the uh, dude, the old dude with the white beard here, and we have the old dude with the white beard here. When this one, when the high priest, the hierophant, il papa, when his tenure on that throne, on that papal throne, comes to an end, um, he might choose to retreat to the forest, like the old Siddhis in India would retreat to the forest and just meditate for the rest of their lives. He might choose to do that. And that is very, very um, along the same lines. That's very poor English. Very along the same lines as the strength and the temperance card here. Something is afoot with this matter of collective morality. And we would do well <clears throat> to um, keep out of it, basically. Okay, whatever it is, this is perhaps, I was saying world in reverse, perhaps the best reason to keep out of it is because it's temporary. It's temporary and it's not a big thing. It's a thing. But it's not a big thing. Not today. It's not a game changer. It's not a world changer. It's not a cycle ender. It's part of the ebb and flow of, um, 
of our lives as individuals and on the collective. And I really do think this is about the collective today. So um, don't get caught up. There is absolutely no need to get caught up and go gushing about this, that and the other. Get a grip of yourself. Or keep that grip. Things are topsy-turvy in terms of how we live as a group. Watch from the sidelines. Keep that closed circuit. Keep it in-house. Don't gush it away. Make sure you are able to account for yourself, to yourself, with the hermit energy here. Because, world in reverse, this too will pass. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.